comes from China. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. I don't blame the kid, the smirking kid. I blame lead poisoning. And oh yeah, I blame that fucking kid. What a little <laughs> smirk face. Smirk face. Look at that face, you wanna punch that face. Because he does, and it's not that he's Trump or not. That looks like an asshole. That is gonna punch you. America deserved 9-11, dude. F it. I'm saying it. What the f is wrong with this dude? Didn't he go to war and like literally lose his eye because some Mujahideen, a brave fing soldier, f his eye hole with their d Isn't that how he lost his fing dumb eye? Because he got his fing eye hole for Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. That sh spread fast as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and it seems like YouTube is bent on banning the Steven Crowder show from its platform. I'd be willing to bet that it does not survive 2021. And look, I've been critical of, um, you know, Steven Crowder poking the bear only because I think his voice is very important. Um, it's still very loud on this platform. And I think that some of his content, like his Change My Mind series, is extremely interesting and entertaining and really does change some people's minds when they watch it. Um, I understand him fighting the fight. I really do. Um, I also wish, Stephen, that you would be more vocal about supporting alt tech platforms, but that's neither here nor there. I will continue to support your right to exist on this platform. Uh, and it looks like YouTube has suspended Louder with Crowder yet again, applying the second hard strike to the channel, meaning just one strike remains uh, with, you know, before banning. It's very concerning. And um, Steven tweeted out this morning, why no live show today you exist? Well, YouTube hit our channel with this second hard strike saying we violated their policies on harassment, which is interesting when you consider all of the bad behavior that YouTube allows if it comes from the left. And before I get into this, we all know this video is going to be buried. So I'm really, really happy to have a quick sponsor shout out for Blue Blocks. Huge shout out to this video's sponsor, Blue Blocks. Look, if you're like me, you're basically always staring at some form of a screen, whether it's your phone, your cell phone, your TV. And at the end of the day, maybe you feel a little strained, a little tired. I know I do for sure. And that's why I'm really glad that I found Blue Blocks. Blue light damages our eyes, leading to digital eye strain. Symptoms of digital eye strain are blurred vision, headaches, dry, watery eyes. Blue Blocks was created to fix this problem and block out the blue light with high quality lenses. Unlike other types of blue light lenses, Blue Blocks are evidence backed and made under optics laboratory conditions in Australia. The founders were unhappy with the quality and lack of science behind leading blue light blocking glasses brands. So I've got an amazing offer for you. If you go to blueblocks.com slash the quartering and use promo code the quartering at checkout, you'll get 20% off and enjoy free shipping on all orders over $115. Get your energy back, sleep better, block out the unhealthy effects of blue light with blue blocks. That's blublox.com slash the quartering. And remember to use code the quartering or use the link in the description below to enjoy free shipping worldwide and huge savings. Now, Crowder did go on to delete this tweet, which was really interesting, but he reposted it. So I'm not sure why, maybe he had a typo or something like that. But what the video shows is some very obvious double standards. And we all know that uh, companies in particular big tech like YouTube, uh, Twitter, and Facebook, they really don't like people that point this kind of stuff out. They don't like people that point out um, their hypocrisies, in particular, the ones that are politically leaning. Look, I have no delusions about having to live within a terms of service or having community guidelines here on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or anybody else's platform for that matter, including BitChute, Parler, Odyssey, any of these platforms. Uh, that said, all I want is for them to be enforced equally. And I think that that's uh, really a 
sore subject for uh, these platforms, which would appear to me anyway uh, to prefer uh, just inconsistent enforcement of their own policies. In this video that uh, Stephen posted, he shows that suspended, your content was removed due to a violation of our community guidelines. You won't be able to do things like upload posts or live stream for two weeks. So that means Ladder with Crowder is off the air for two weeks. The next strike, which could come at any time, by the way, uh, will result in a permanent removal of his channel. I'm guessing that uh, that will happen. My prediction is it will be on a Friday, perhaps this Friday or next Friday. I really do believe that YouTube's going to uh, look to remove him. Uh, of course, he puts together a two minute and 10 second uh, series or video that outlines uh, people just saying heinous things about the Covington Catholic boy, um, people like Bill Maher um, or uh, Hassan Abi, who said some heinous things. Um, you know, supporting things that happened to Andy No and things like that. Um, we have the Young Turks saying he he heinous things, Jimmy Kimmel. Um, and we know that Crowder does push the envelope. I, I think that I, I admire his unwillingness to bend the knee, but I don't want him to lose his platform over it because you could still do a lot more good. If he's here on YouTube... He could still get the message out and he can say more like straightforward or spicy things on a different platform. Well, I guess that used to, I guess that used to be the rule, uh, the way you could get around it. But YouTube themselves have now changed things because they, they will follow you. There used to be, you know, this sense of safety among creators where you could go to like BitChute or Odyssey or something else and, and produce like a more spicy video or, you know, cover some, some topics, but you actually can't do that anymore because YouTube will just ban you for off content behavior, off platform behavior as well. You see a lot of people saying, you know, rules for thee, but not for me. Yeah. That is one of the most frustrating things about this platform, but I, I really, hope Stephen and I, I told them this directly and I will tell him this again, you know, stay in the fight, man. Um, you know, dying on this hill is, is, you know, honorable, but we need you. We need you to stay in the fight. Um, and you see a lot of people you're know, pointing out, obviously, um, you know, the double, you know, hilarious double standard. Here's the article from Lauder with Crowder himself themselves. Here we go again. YouTube has issued a second hard strike on the Steven Crowder channel, barring us from publishing for two weeks. YouTube also hit Crowder Bits channel with a hard strike, barring us from publishing content for one week. Why, you ask? YouTube said the video about the incident in Columbus violated uh, their bullying policy. I can't link you the video in question because or only tell you that the podcast episode is still available. Wake up and here's the podcast that's actually on the Lauder with Crowder website. Now, here's the interesting thing. The video they're referring to did not reveal any bad things uh, or of, uh, of any identifiable individual. It seems YouTube is unhappy. The studio crew agreed um, with the situation, uh, agreed that the situation was justified. Uh, regardless of color or identifying, um, you know, identifying factors, if you're trying to end someone and you get ended, that's how the cookie crumbles. I think most people would agree with that. Um, this seems like an excuse just to issue another strike, a second strike, three strikes, and the channel is gone. We did a little skipping through YouTube memory lane, though, since YouTube says it doesn't like this type of uh, behavior with identifiable and identifiable individuals. We thought we could find no other notable mentions of YouTube hosts mocking identifiable individuals, not public figures, just regular folks, you know, since this kind of behavior can't be Found. And of course, we see Trevor Noah and a wide variety of others that we talked about, um, you know, doing exactly that. We're going to be doing our due diligence on the legal fronts, he says. We're still going to put out a live show for you because that's what we do. You'll be able to watch a show free on our live page, lottercrowder.com slash live. But note that this isn't a player that you can just scrub where you want or rewind if you've missed. So make sure you're there when the show starts. Now, look, Crowder will be fine. The Mug Club is massive and supports him uh, in many ways uh, financially. But this is why I always talk about, in particular with, um, you know, conservative content creators or content creators that 
may display some inconvenient truths. Um, you know, always understand, like I do, you know, when they do ad reads, for example. Um, I, in, in Crowder has his mug club, I use Subscribestar. It's how I support both my, the quartering channel and Midwestly. Um, this will be my primary source of income. Uh, should I be removed and deplatformed? Of course I will be uh, someday soon. Um, and if you're in a position to, please do consider backing me at subscribestar.com slash the quartering. It'll be in the pinned comment below. Um, you know, a lot of you already do. We're at 68.5% of um, kind of the YouTube monetization protection. Um, and I could, I mean, a straight ask, like, please back me today. Um, this insulation is extraordin extraordinarily important for people like me and, of course, Crowder as well. Um, do I think Steven pushes the envelope on purpose? Yes, I do. But that doesn't mean that that justifies their strike against him. We've already seen many, many times where uh, individuals, you know, we already see, I, you know, my content, you can't find it in search results. That's why yesterday, for example, um, I told my viewers that I would be experimenting with shorts and TikTok. Yes, I know TikTok. I know. I'm not telling you to install their app, but. I'm going to upload my shorts there and use shorts on YouTube because it doesn't seem like that's um, uh, censored as much. It actually has a different algorithm. Uh, these are the hoops that we have to jump through as non-PC commentators, as people with you know their own opinions about things. And we're so lucky to have viewers like you, honestly, seriously. Th those of you that just watch my videos, that share them, that comment on them, you're so important. People that back, you know, Crowder has his mug club. People that back me on Subscribestar, you have more power than you could imagine. Because if people get removed off these platforms, you know, I'll still keep creating content. It'll be on Odyssey or BitChute or whatever alt tech platform is popular at the time. Um, but that's why I have to have a presence everywhere. Do I love Instagram? No, but I have to use it. Do I love TikTok? Absolutely not. But I've got to put my videos there. Uh, to build as much power because audience size is power. Uh, and if I can bring over a couple thousand people from TikTok to my YouTube channel or to more, even better, Odyssey or BitChute, I have to do it. I, I can't, this is where Steven and I just disagree. Um, and I, 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 and maybe I'm wrong, but like, here's how I look at it. Yes, Facebook sucks. TikTok, all these things are terrible. But if I ignore them, I forfeit the opportunity to change some minds and to reach people on those platforms and to have an alternative in case one gets removed. Ultimately, I want to bring everyone to the quartering.com, which is, you know, I have a website too, just like Crowder does. Um, and I want people to be able to watch your content there. And, but this takes super long and why not use every available platform while you can? Yes, I can criticize, um, platforms while still existing there. Uh, because I feel like the trade-off is I'm educating users of that platform exactly what's going on. Maybe I'm a sellout for doing that, but we just have different approaches. I want to have the biggest audience I possibly can, and I want to stay on as many platforms as I possibly can for as long as I can, and fight and fight and fight and fight and fight until the very end. Um, Steven makes a lot of waves. He goes about it differently, but he's got the blaze and he's got the mug club and he's got, he's already established these type of things. Um, but I want him to stay on YouTube because he's an important voice. Um, please support him. You can watch him on his, you know, on his website, obviously, um, and support content creators that you really like too. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.